Hello again, or welcome back, assuming you've watched part one of these two videos about Second Life. Uh, well, as in, as I was saying in part one, we were covering the laptop situation and the fact that uh, cheaper hardware is not necessarily powerful enough to run Second Life at full pelt. And well, there is of course hardware even cheaper uh, than my laptop here, because uh, I have in my hands here a second hand iPad 2, well iPad Mini Mark II uh, that I bought at the uh, latter end of 2014 and one of the reasons I bought this uh, was because A I wanted a faster iPad, B I wanted a smaller and lighter iPad and C that goes with it being faster, I wanted it fast enough to justify putting the latest um, iOS on it and you need the latest iOS to run this app I'm about to run now. So let's flip the camera around again. Ooh, it, it held properly. And so yeah, I have a folder called Second Life. So let's click on that. And on Life I've launched an app recently called SL Go. So we power that up. Unlike the uh, laptop situation, this uh, only runs Second Life uh, in the original Second Life client. But uh, so here we are, we have to log in. I've already got my email and password typed. So we shall hit log in and the lovely whirly things in the corner of the screen. It says a lot for Apple's technology that their screens are easier to film than. Uh, my laptop. It's still reflections but for some reason it does come out clearer. So yeah this uh, this has to load up and uh, because we're dealing with uh, the cloud again it does take a few seconds. Uh, so there you are, I'm already uh, typed in with my avatar name there and we have a slightly fuzzy, certainly to the human eye, copy of the Second Life website here. And because we're on a tablet we have to uh, click, oh actually no it's not start now is it, let's uh, cancel that, we have to click log on, log in sorry, and here we are logging in, I'll have to try this with the, uh, the curtains closed to absolutely minimise the reflections. And there it is loading up Second Life via the cloud, but running on a piece of hardware that previously wouldn't have been able to run Second Life at all. So there's my avatar. Uh, as in the previous video, I'm in the gallery where my photographs get displayed in Second Life. Uh, but we're now in the world of tablet computing, so we have to do everything... Uh, I'll flip over which hand is holding the camera so I can use my correct hand. We have um, direction and walking controlled on the screen. So uh, let's just uh, visit somewhere else. Uh, which might require a search. Uh, we'll go to Paradox Island, I think. Which is uh, another Doctor Who related sim. And uh, reasonably graphically heavy. So here we are, it's all resing up quite quickly. Let's uh, shut all these unnecessary windows down. And here we are stood on Paradox Island, which uh, this sim starts at the top of a hill. And we have to rather carefully turn around. 
That's who we are facing. A ramp. Mm. One of the problems with the uh, this method of using second life is it is a tad fiddlier. So now we walk down this ramp. As you can see, all the 3D graphics are raising wonderfully quickly streamed through the uh, cloud. And uh, we're in the Doctor Who Lewisonia Paradox Island Doctor Who themed sim. And uh, you can look around it quite quickly. It's got its own railway here. I'm just stood next to the, the tracks of that railway. There's an amusement arcade, uh, there is Magpie Electricals. And, uh, ooh, as I said, it is a little fiddly. And there is the uh, aforementioned train. This being Second Life can run straight over my foot and cause me no harm whatsoever. So let's uh, keep looking around. Hmm. I think this video is going to be noticeably shorter than the other one because uh, as it soon becomes clear it's quite hard to film and uh, control this app at the same time. But you get the general idea as to how reasonably easy it is to use. And here we have the Blue Box Cafe. Ah, there we go. There we go, and there I am inside and it plugs David Lewis's uh, website here, Hoogle, which has uh, plugged my other podcast, Tim's Take On, in its, in its time. So thank you for that, David, if you are watching. And there's some uh, Doctor Who themed artworks on the wall. And you have another control here on the side that uh, controls the camera, and you can just flip around and zoom in and out and do all sorts of wonderful things. So there you are, there is Second Life running on a tablet that weighs less than a kilogram uh, that basically means you can now use Second Life anywhere anywhere you can get a Wi-Fi signal anywhere you can uh, hook this tablet up to a mobile phone and uh, borrow some of your expensive data on there so uh, hope that's uh, of use to you. There is a downside to all of this, and that's that uh, the service is not free. Uh, on live, uh, have to pay for the running costs of all these servers, of course, and uh, they do so by charging you, I think it's $10 a month, which sounds more expensive in dollars than it is in pounds. In uh, UK pounds, that's about £6.95 a month. And about my only criticism really is that I just wish this kind of technology or advancement of technology I should say had existed uh, a few years ago because I was at the absolute height of my second life usage uh, around 2007 and 2008 and uh, back then I was using um, probably a slightly faster laptop and probably missing out on sleep <laughs> as a lot of the people who use Second Life are in the States and uh, that's the sort of uh, time you end up being able to socialize in it um, but um, Second Life for me is uh, now a sort of um, still a regular activity but only really sort of um, once possibly twice a week and uh, on these occasions when I'm shooting videos and uh, recording podcasts well, I hope that was uh, of interest to you. Um, normal service will resume soon to this YouTube channel. Uh, 
once the uh, weather gets a bit uh, drier I hope to get back uh, to doing a bit more TARDIS building as I uh, recently got a, a, a battery for a second drill so hopefully we'll be able to uh, do a bit more work on the base of my full size one of these goodbye